Another important component of a course using e-learning is the use of quizzes. The e -learning can create, in e-learning, you can create automated quizzes where the system will grade automatically true and false multiple choice questions and even matching questions. And then for essay questions, you can go back and just grade the specific essay questions in the course. So in this session, I'm going to cover how to create a quiz using e-learning. So we are in the course here. And now for week one, we want the students also to take a quiz. So in order to take a quiz, by the way, if your textbook comes with a test bank, then those questions can be imported. And that will probably be another video. But for this video here, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a quiz from scratch, including the questions, of course, just a couple of questions. So first, it's two stages for it. First, you create the shell for the quiz. We're telling the system there is a quiz. And then the second part of it is to add the questions to the quiz. So now we click on add an activity here after we have turned editing on in the course. Click on add an activity or a resource. And then we scroll down here under quiz. So we locate quiz and then click on add. Then in here, we're going to call it chapter one quiz. And then under the description, this is where you'd give them a lot of details. Read chapter one, it's going to be a quiz with so many questions and so on and so on. You can also give additional directions that the quiz is going to be timed once they start. Don't switch to other browsers. Re reference here also the academic integrity policy and things of that nature and so on and so on. But basically as many directions as possible. The other thing here is that there are a lot of settings for the quiz setup. One of the options here is notice there's an option here for expand all. Expand all expands all of these options. So you can set the quiz so that it opens at a specific day and time. It's not going to be available until that time comes up. So let's say we go to 2016 here because probably this video will be relevant for 2016 and on. And you say, OK, it's going to be in sep on September 5th at 321. And then you can choose to close the quiz at a specific time as well. And you want to close it maybe an hour later. Sometimes you close it the next day and so on. You can also specify a time, how many minutes the students have to take the quiz. However, keep in mind, if, if you do not need the time limitation, don't put it in there, particularly if it's a long quiz, because it really can frustrate and put additional pressure on the students. However, if you're focusing on it, it's a key quiz and it, you're focusing on academic integrity and all that type of thing, then you specify the time limit as well. Then if you scroll down here, you have the grade section. And this is uh, typically it will look like that. But we, are, we just expanded it above. So if it didn't look, just click on the word. Then we click here on cat uncategorize. And we choose which category this falls under. Again, the grade book has to be configured first. If, it didn't, if you didn't configure the grade book, you can configure it later too. So we click here on quizzes. And then you can specify grade to pass if you need to and all that type of thing. Then attempts, you can also specify how many attempts you want the students to try. How many tries do they get for the quiz? You can allow them multiple times. If the quiz, my suggestion would be that if the quiz, it's not critical to the course, it's just a practice one, it's just to reinforce the learning and so on, maybe you give them multiple tries. But then under the grading method, you can change it so that either the highest grade of all of those attempts takes effect, or it can be the average grade, or it can be the last attempt, and so on and so on. So it just depends on what your preference is. Now here under the layout, this is where you can choose how the questions will be presented to the students. So in this case, it's every question, but yet you can configure it so it will be every five questions. So you have 20, page, uh, 20 questions. It's going to be four pages of the quiz for the whole quiz. There's so basically five questions per page. 
Notice there's an option here for show more, whether they want the navigation. You can force the students so they have to go in a sequence, or you just let them go free from question to question that they may prefer. For enhancing academic integrity, you can choose to shuffle within questions. And also, the, as far as the feedback, you can choose want to have the feedback, whether you want it deferred at the very end of the quiz, or you could have immediate feedback after they try each question as well. So then, as far as the review options, this is where you can choose uh, whether to display the correct answer, yes or no, during the attempt, after the quiz is closed, and so on. So you make your own mind, make up your mind basically from there. And then you scroll down. You can even require a password for this quiz. Now, cases where you'd want a password for the quiz are because you can limit it by the time, but let's say that two students didn't show up for the quiz, and now they have to take it up, take the quiz later. So what you can do is you can set a password in the quiz for them to take it either earlier or later and share the password to the students. So that's kind of the key for the password there. You can also reinforce so that they can't try it unless a certain amount of time has passed. The browser security would suggest to leave it alone. If you want to do enhanced browser security, that usually tends to cause more issues. Then uh, the overall feedback, this is basically where you can give them automated feedback. If they scored uh, between, let's say, 90 here and 100%, you can say, great job, you're going to do well in the course, keep up doing the same thing. But if they scored uh, 60 and, uh, and below or whatever, then you could say you're going to fail the course. So you can give them automated feedback based on the score that they get. So then you scroll all the way to the bottom here and then click on save and display. So all that we did so far, or we could do save and return to the course since we have been doing that for other activities. So uh, we needed to add, since I chose that option, it needed some text in there. So at this point, we just have told the system that there's going to be a quiz and there are some parameters to the quiz, but yet we have not really added any questions to the quiz. So now the stage number two here is to click on uh, and configure the actual quiz questions or add the questions. So we click on the quiz here, chapter one quiz, and it says, well, there are no questions added yet. So we click here on edit quiz and then this is where we add the actual questions so we click here on add and we choose add a new question if we had a test bank that's where we would get the questions but for now we just have to add them manually now you can add all kinds of questions in the quiz as you can see here on the left hand side multiple choice it tells you what it does true and false and so on and so on typically it's those it's three types of questions that are used primarily multiple choice true and false and then essay questions so let's create first a true a multiple choice question so you give it a name to the question this is just how it will be identified in the system so you could say q1 And then, so this would be our question. We could format it to look different. And then here it would be general feedback. If you wanted to specify general feedback for that specific question, uh, whether they scored it correctly or not, this is where you put general feedback. And the answers would be here. So you have basically option A, B, C, and so on. So we say the four functions for a computer would be input, so if they choose that, they get no grade. If they choose only output, that will be none as well. So they get no, no grade for it, or they get a zero basically, or a failing grade. And then choice three would be and let's say that's not the right, right answer either. Let's say that's not the right answer either. And then choice five is
Now remember here you can't say all of the above because the order will be scrambled. So in this case we'll say all of the above and it will say 100%. So if they choose all of them, all the presented options, then they get a score of 100 in that, for that question. Now we click on Save Changes and that is the one question already added to the quiz. That was a multiple choice question. Notice these dots here. Now we go and add another question. And now we'll add a true and false question. So we click on true and false, add, we give it a name. In some cases, you can just copy and paste the same question from the title into the question text. And then you can give general feedback depending on whether they chose whatever option they chose or if it was correct then you get this if it was incorrect they get that type of feedback and basically over here it says correct answer you need to tell the computer which one is the correct answer for this statement so in this case we want to say that is correct that's true and then we click on save changes so that was a second type of question that we are adding to a quiz then we can go here and add another question and let's say we want to add this question as an essay so we just choose an essay question keep in mind that essay questions will not be graded automatically by the computer and then you can say how many points this question will be automatically but you don't need to specify the points in this at this point here and then click on save changes now this is where you'd specify the points so let's say this last one instead of counting it all equal let's say i want this to count more so i can simply click here on edit maximum mark and i can say i want that to count as eight points while the other ones count only as two points and the whole quiz will count only as against 10 points so you can have this against 100 points let's say but that, what that means is that this question will be 80% and those will be only 10% each. The key here is that you don't want this. You don't want the total number of points for all the questions to be higher than the maximum grade. In that way, what happens there is that the students, if they miss a question, they're not being penalized for it. Or if they miss the third question, they're not being penalized as much. So once you have determined the questions and also the maximum points and also the points for each question, you click on save and basically the quiz is ready for the students. Now you can also preview it. If you click here on preview, this is how it will look when the students open it up. And they'll have a timer here because we chose 20 minutes earlier and so on. Now for the students, when they go to take this quiz, and I think we can't take it at this point because we chose the settings here. Let me change the dates. So if I turn off the timing option for the dates, and then go and take this as a student, this is what the student will see. So they will go to the course, they'll click on chapter one quiz, they'll read the directions, they'll have how many attempts they have, how many minutes they are allowed, how, the, how it's gonna be graded. They'll click on attempt quiz now, it will warn them that this is, it has a timer, and that's it. So they put the feedback here for the essay question and then it will give them a grade. It will give them a grade right away with the correct answer and not the correct answer but then the essay is not graded yet. So they finish it now you as the instructor, you can go back in here 
and now you need to grade the essay questions. So notice it says here attempts one. That means that one student tried to take it and took it. Notice down here you have the report. Here's the attempt. This is the options that they missed. And then here is, you can actually click right here and see exactly which questions, how they did in each question as well. Now notice for question number three, it says here requires grading. So you can either click over here to requires grading, or you can go under the quiz area here, or quiz administration, and there's this option here for manual grading. In manual grading, this is where you can grade all the essay questions for all the students from one spot. So you click on grade all, and then it will display all the students' essay questions one after the other. And you can put comments here. And then it, you can give them a mark, zero out of eight, for example, and then save and go to the next page, and that will be graded. and then the grade will be posted for the students. So that's how quizzes work. You basically have to create, define the quiz parameters first, you add the questions to it, and the students take it. Once the students take it, the grades will be recorded in the grade book. If you have essay questions in the quiz, you have to go in and grade them manually.